The discussion section of your research paper is pivotal because that's the section where you can truly highlight the novelty of your research and show how your research differs from previous research and why it should be published. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to write an outstanding discussion section for your research paper for a Q1 journal. So the first thing that you typically need to do in a discussion section is to restate the main results, specifically highlighting the main contributions of your study. Now, the second element of an outstanding discussion is to compare your results with previous studies, more specifically to highlight the contribution that your study made and show the uniqueness of your study. Now, the next really important element of a discussion is to explain your own results or differences with previous studies. Now, the next thing that you want to do is to interpret your findings. In other words, tell us what this actually means and what these findings suggest. So now element number fifth of a really outstanding discussion section is making suggestions for future research. And there are basically two ways in which you could do this. You could either incorporate it into your different paragraphs as you're explaining the results. You could also, when appropriate, make suggestions for future research. Now, the next element that you might want to include in a really good discussion section for a Q1 journal is practical implications. And then the last element that you probably want to include is theoretical implications. 